Hello everyone. So I'm having to film on this uh, camera because my other one just ran out of memory. Uh, but as we said, there's no, there were no campsites or anything to find. Everything was fully booked. But because the weather's been like really cloudy, really windy, and like rainy ever since we got here, like yeah, last night, um, we were just we called the people um, who work at the campsites in the national park, and they said you just have to keep refreshing because people might cancel because of the weather. And miraculously, we found a campsite for one night, uh, which is in the bottom end of the National Park. So it's called Osprey Bay Campsite. And it looks really, really nice. We're hoping for some sunshine tomorrow, uh, but we're gonna head there now. It is 11.35. We woke up, um, we just drove into Exmouth here. We, we took a walk down the beach. We wanted to swim, but no one was swimming, so. Yeah, you know, it's, it feels weird when you get to a new, a brand new what, beach or set of beaches, town, whatever you want to call it, and no one is swimming. You're like, yeah, do they like... know something that I don't know? Yeah. It could just be because the weather's been like bad and there's a drift and, and it's cold, but... It's nice for it to be cold. It is nice. Doing, like... But anyway, now we're going to go to IGA, pick up some supplies, get some lunch, and then head to our campsite. Oh my god, we've made it to our campsite! That looks insane. We're like probably 40 minutes into the national park. The water is so, so light blue. It's amazing. We're just out here in the middle of nowhere. Tommy's getting acquainted with the cockatoo. Still not too sure what he thinks of you. Oh! Sat here. Just about to watch the sun go down. So I'm beautiful. Get as much sand on you as possible. So no! <laughs> you're gonna be sleeping in it all time. Tommy doesn't care about sand in the bed for some reason. next day and we spent all morning uh, chilling by the main beach because there's a toilet there and we have signal there and now we've come to the like main popular surf beach I think it's called like surf spot or something like that I don't know it's uh, right in the beginning of the national park and the waves actually look really nice quite small like two to three foot so we're gonna take the surfboards out for the first time in a long time since we left Noosa it's so busy so we just finished up at the surf beach and it was really nice actually i didn't even get a wave but it was quite nice it's cool to be out in the blue water and yeah there were a few waves there but there were quite a few people so yeah other people were better at catching them <laughs> and yeah there was lots of turtles out in the water and now we just went to this turtle sanctuary where they just have lots of facts about all the turtles you can see here and we were going to walk down to the beach to see if we could see any and then this couple came and was like oh there's a snake hiding under the steps just so you know we went down to check it out and it was a brown snake like quite a big pretty brown chunky, snake yeah pretty chunky snake. brown snake I was like, oh no, it's like, it's just a tiger snake. Can you wrangle it? And I was like, yeah, let's have some lunch. And then he was like, oh, cool. And I think he thought I was being serious. And now we're just trying to see if we can find another nice beach for some lunch. Lunch? So 
so it's like 4 30 and the winds have picked up a bit but we just had our yummy falafel wraps and now we're back at turquoise bay because we loved it so much here we checked out oyster stacks but it's a bit too windy at the moment you can probably hear the wind um so there's a big drift right now and like no one was there so we were like we'll save oyster stacks for a day when it's not so windy Clear it. We're watching the sunset on top of the lighthouse. Well, not on top of the lighthouse. We had a long day of snorkeling, beaching, shopping, mm. chasing turtles. That's Which nice. is actually pretty hard work, it turns out. Especially when you're swimming with one hand and no flippers and, that's and a why foggy mask. But that was so much fun and now we just went to buy some food, we're going to make a barbecue and then we're going to have to go back to our free camp spot because Exmouth is like so busy. It's fully booked everywhere, especially like we only by chance managed to get that camp spot in the national park last night because someone must have like cancelled their booking. Tonight we're going back to the campsite, uh, the free campsite, which is like an hour outside of Exmouth. We're up early, uh, on our way to town to get picked up for whale shark and humpback whale watching. We're kind of nervous because this season has kind of ended, but we have seen people who have seen them like yesterday and just like a couple of days ago, so we've still got hope. Um, we just need to take out some money in town and get to the meeting point, so it's pretty exciting. Let's go find some whale sharks. next petrol station is in Coral Bay which is like I don't know 15 kilometers or so away probably and I think they only have two fuel stations in Coral Bay and I think one of them is says not available so I'm fingers crossed that we actually make it Tommy's put a tiny dribble left of petrol that we had in the tank um, and yeah we're just gonna have to try because there's no signal 400, me 400 meters left Gonna make it. There's a little hill. Yeah. I see the Caltech sign. Oh man. Never have we been so happy to see overpriced petrol. Oh, that was so stressful. Yeah, that was a stressful. We're below oh. empty. Oh. <laughs> so we're gonna go snorkel, explore some of the different reefs around Coral Bay here. I'm sticking you in this so I can do some underwater photography and videography. First stop, Bills Bay. I think this is like the main beach. Yeah, it looks like it's a really good swimming and snorkeling spot. The water is so clear. Again, like everywhere. So let's go for a snorkel, see what we can find. I think there's a little bit of reef down here. Walking south, there's lots of rocks. Again, crystal clear water. A few snorkelers out there.
up on this 4x4 truck and I think this is part of Skeleton Beach, I'm not quite sure but it's absolutely gorgeous and we're hoping we make our way back down again. A million people in the crowd but I only see your face in all the lights. And as the bass keep pounding on me, baby, I really want to make you mine. Workout. So did you. I did a little morning yoga and now we've got our yogurt bowls and we're just sitting here in front of the ocean. We're in Coral Bay again because I told you we're going on the Manta Ray tour. It's only a half day but they're like residential here so I think chances are pretty high that we'll get to see one. I hope. I hope I'm not getting my hopes up now. Beautiful. We stayed at another free campsite tonight like 12 mm. minutes outside of Coral Bay. Pretty, good. pretty good. One. Apparently the rangers come at like before sunrise so we left at like five o'clock this morning <laughs> so we're pretty tired still hello mister he's being very cheeky mm. so the manta ray tour got cancelled oh, no. so we're on our way to the shark nursery where we saw all the sharks yesterday look how clear the water is it's supposed to be like a 20 minute walk to the shark sanctuary from here from the main like town beach so we're making our way down See the stingray. Oh my god. Oh, he heard me. So good morning everyone. Today we're going on the Manta Ray tour. It got cancelled yesterday and moved to today. So we got up, we did a little quick workout and did some yoga. The weather's a bit more cloudy than yesterday, but I still think it's gonna clear up. But yeah, we'll see. Hopefully we find some mantas. I just want to come on here and let you guys know if you don't know if you follow my instagram you'll already know this but my hard drive broke which sadly meant that i lost a lot of footage from this trip i lost the gopro footage of when we were swimming with the manta ray i do have a tiny screen recording saved from the intro i made and luckily uploaded to youtube so that's all you're going to get we did have a photographer with us um so i can insert some photos that he took of the manta ray as well Oh my god, that was amazing. We swam with a massive manta and it had chunks of its sides taken out. So it'd probably been in a, an accident with a shark or an orca or something, they thought. But it was really cool. We got to follow it and swim with it for like so many minutes and it was so fast. It was like really tiring trying to keep up with him, but it was so beautiful and really, really cool experience. This is going to be the end to my Exmouth Coral Bay vlog. In the next week's episode, you'll see that we head to Karajini, um, which is like one of, I think it's Western Australia's second largest national park. So that's really cool. And yeah, it's a really popular, like must-see spot to go. So yeah, thanks for watching. And don't forget to follow my socials if you haven't already to stay updated with what, where we are and what we're doing and subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!